Hey, Dr. Dave here. I uh, hope you're having a good day. Uh, I shared this analogy on the radio today, and I wanted to share it with you as well. And um, it's this analogy I, I've heard 20 plus years ago when I was in chiropractic school, I think in my first quarter there. And it was from uh, an icon in our profession, uh, Dr. Fred Barge, the late Dr. Fred Barge. And uh, here's a guy that when he talked, he was one of those uh, presents where when he spoke, uh, for me, just very engaging. Uh, he had a very engaging voice, very engaging way about him. And, uh, uh, you know, it was like I would sit on the, the edge of my chair uh, just waiting for the next uh, sentence to come out of this man's mouth. And I was like trying to sometimes write uh, everything. Uh, he was just that kind of uh, interesting and engaging guy. And, um, and he, had, he gave this analogy that I uh, he still use today. And um, he referred to it as the rats in the dump. And Dr. Bartsch had this very uh, distinct voice. He would walk in the room and be like, Hello, fledgling chiropractors. I can't even do it justice. But he would have just that, 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 again, just that projection and that engaging voice. And so he would say, um, if you've got a dump, you've got rats. <laughs> and so um, the whole concept, the whole analogy was a, rats don't create the dump. A dump is what attracts and creates the rats. And he was drawing this parallel between germs, vac bacteria, viruses, and disease that the opportunistic vectors of germs, viruses, bacteria um, seek those things. Uh, they seek the dump. Um, they don't create it. And so the same thing with the body is what I'll kind of add into that is that if you got a dump, if you're creating a dump, you're gonna have rats, disease. And so I think the father of pathology, um, Rudolf Verschau, if I'm saying that right, forgive me. Um, saying that wrong, rather, <laughs> forgive me. Um, he would say, uh, germs seek their natural habitat, which is disease tissue, right? Rather than being the cause of disease tissue, they go seek that disease tissue. And even Louis Pasteur, um, the uh, father of the germ theory, uh, reportedly recanted on his deathbed that um, the pathogen is nothing without – the pathogen is nothing but the terrain is everything. And if germs or bacteria or viruses take control of your terrain – or that environment, well, then hopefully you have a strong immune system to take care of those things. But the whole idea is, and this is what I want to ask you today, uh, and this is what I ask the people on the radio, um, do you have a dump? Have you created a dump? And if so, what are you going to do about it? You know, here's how you know some of the ways if you've created a dump. Fatigue, tired all the time, no energy, you need all these artificial pick-me-ups, to, to get you through your day, um, emotionally drained, brain fog, uh, symptoms, headaches, migraines, um, uh, you know, any kind of symptom. If you're taking medications for whatever reason, it's possible that you've created a dump. So what are you going to do about this dump you created? Because we want to blame everything else. Why does this happen to me? Uh, why am I always sick? Why don't I have energy? Well, Perhaps you have to look at what you're doing and how you're living because that could be both the, uh, the solution, the reason and the solution for you as far as getting better. So what are you going to do to clean up your dump? Are you going to get adjusted more by a chiropractor? Are you going to exercise more? Are you going to eat better? Uh, are you going to drink more water? Uh, are you going to eat more fruits and vegetables? Uh, are you going to think better? Uh, you're going to hang out with more inspiring people. Because the thing is, here's what people will say. Uh, or actually, what I want you to do is right now take inventory of literally, like, what is your health status? 
What are you going through right now? Are you happy where you're at or you know you need to make changes? Are you, what's preventing you from making those changes? What obstacles are you facing? What, what is it that's holding you back from creating these changes? Because it could be you, what you're doing and how you're living, that's creating this dump. Remember, bad health doesn't find you. It's created from within you. Got it? And disease, bacteria, germs like to find diseased tissue, a diseased body to grow in. They find bad terrain and they can grow in and live there. Unless you have this strong immune system, which is a whole other video on how to strengthen your immune system. Remember, that's your defense mechanism. You need that. You need a strong one. So, again, take inventory. What is your health status right now? Do you have a lot of symptoms? Are you taking medications or multiple medications? What is it that you need to own? You have to own right now where you're at. We all do, me included. And we have to figure out, well, how do we get better? Because the, the reality is every one of us could be doing better. Every one of us could be ratcheting it up just another notch, can't we? Yes or yes? The answer is yes. So I want you to figure out what it is that you need to do different. Are you creating that dump? And what I want you to do is to start do better, doing better. I don't care if it's, if you're not eating in the morning, start eating breakfast, a healthy one. There's an article that came out, I, I read in Newsweek today, talking about, um, actually it's right here. I was just reading it. It's called, Scientists Identified Diet Most Likely to Cut Cancer Risk. I don't know even why we have articles like this anymore. It's well known the relationship between food and disease. All right, it goes in here talking about fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, minimal or no uh, red meat, processed foods, processed meats, alcohol, smoking, like none of that. Or, you know, it, it's not a secret. You know what to do. If I asked you how to improve your health tomorrow, what are some things you need to do? You know what to do. So start. Start because if you have health issues now and you're somewhere in younger age or middle aged, you know, those aren't going to get better unless you intervene and do something about them. No one's going to do it for you. You have to do it yourself. So if you understand the importance of this, I hope you do. It's time to make changes. I want you to make changes. I want you to live a great quality life. I want you to be happy, have great energy, feel good. Because when you feel good and you look good, you're happier. And when you're happier, people want to be around you. You radiate better energy, right? And then you live a better quality life and you could do the things you like to do, you love to do. It's a snowball effect. So going back to the original question, rats in the dump. Have you created a dump and have you attracted a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need, don't want, shouldn't have? And now how are you going to clean up your dump? All right. Something I want you to think about. Take ownership of it right now where you're at. Say, here's where I am. Here's where I want to go. In between is a gap. You have a gap. Here's where you are. Here's where you, here's where you want to go. In between that gap is full of junk, contradictions, excuses, bad habits, no discipline. Time to reverse it. Close the gap. Get to where you want to be. If you need help, there's people out there to help you. If you need, need my help, I'll be happy to help you with it. So something for you to think about. Have a great day. I'll catch you on the next video.